right everybody uh, welcome back to the sawmill here uh, so today what I want to do is mill up this walnut here it's a black walnut um, now the plans for this uh, log here is to become at least one if not more uh, uh, gun stock blanks uh, a guy that I work with he has an old uh, a Teddy Roosevelt 3030 I guess it's probably a commemorative edition I haven't seen it but uh, he's told me about it and so that's what we're doing today is is we want to cut this up and I think what we're going to go for is probably about a three inch thick and probably about seven inch wide is what you know at least seven inch wide and three inches thick um, we want to get to be able to use the uh, this crotch figure right here this one right here I think would be uh, pretty much perfect the way you can picture the grain would would flow through here um, you know you could use this right here this right here being like the, the butt end of the, the gun right about here and then the stock coming up through here there should be some nice figure right here I, I just really hope there is um, I don't know we'll just have to cut into it and and see so let's uh, let's get it on the mill
pretty warm out here today. We're going to be looking at uh, probably below freezing temps. Let's see. What is it? I think it's next week. an ivy on here that'll be nice to have that all over me Yeah, we gotta cut some off the off here and then off the other side. get around to getting these cants here sawed up I'm, I'm using those for uh, hardwood flooring they're about five inch four and a half to five inches wide I can't remember exactly what I was cutting them so anyway we're using these here for hardwood flooring and uh, well I'm just gonna leave them right there and kind of work around them for now I want to hurry up and get this cut up and see what I've got so here we go Dad is a doornail, as usual.
that smell.
Yeah, that was uh, interesting. Clamp came off of it. Probably lucky it didn't break the blade or something. Only thing I had going for me was the besides the log on here, the weight of it was holding itself still pretty much. Oh man, that's heavy. This one here. I believe it's gonna make a nice gun stock blank. And now it's moving all over the place. It's being uncooperative. Alright, so we cut these just a little over three inches thick. Um, basically to allow for uh, shrinkage um, as it dries. I think, I, I think it was about three and a quarter thick. Uh, I mean, it doesn't even have to be three inches thick, really. But I like to leave a little extra on there just because, well, it, it allows for, for things to happen to it. I'm kind of picturing this here. That, that right there would make a nice butt stock right here to a, uh, a rifle. Now on up here, we got a pith coming right through here. Got the pith in this part right here. So that part will have to be cut off. Um, I'm sure throughout the drying process, it will split. You know, we'll get a big check down through here and that will kind of show us the weak point. But this right here, that's what I was looking for right there. I think this, you know, if you can picture like, here's the butt stock here, kind of like that. That'll be perfect. And this other one here looks pretty nice too. Um, now one of these I'm going to use for, I've got a, an old uh, side by side, um, I think it was a, it's called a New Baker, and it's got a Damascus twist barrel on it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what gauge it is. I think it's, I think 12 gauge uh, shells fit in it, but I mean, you can't shoot it. It's, uh, it's so old and rusted. Plus that Damascus barrel, you definitely couldn't shoot um, any modern ammunition in it. It'd be, uh, it'd be way too powerful for it. Probably would blow the gun up. So, but anyway, it was uh, my great, great grandfather's uh, dinner getter. That's <laughs> what they called it. That's uh, what they used to go get dinner. And, uh, you know, there's something about having a, a family heirloom like that and, and the, uh, the wood has all rotted off of it or whatever or broke off. I don't, I don't know what happened to it. I just know uh, ever since I can remember it, I remember seeing it when I was little uh, wrapped in socks. It had, you know, a sock, big, those long uh, tube socks. One was pulled over one end and one was over the other end. And uh, my dad had showed it to me whenever I was probably, I don't know, five or six years old and told me that was my great, great grandfather's. And uh, when my grandmother passed away, I inherited that. And uh, so I, I swore to myself that one day I would take a, a log and I would cut it, uh, you know, I would mill it myself and I would make a butt stock and a, and a foregrip uh, for that, that shotgun. So that's what this piece here will be, I think. And this other piece here, that will go to my buddy uh, for, his, uh, for his Roosevelt rifle. I don't know, I almost like this one better. <laughs> I, I like this one here. This is like your pretty standard grain. And this one here has got just a little more curly in it. See if I can bring the camera over here. Maybe you guys can see it from here. I don't know if you can see that, but that one there has got a little more figure to it, I think. I don't know, I'll have to let these dry for a little while and, and just kind of see see which one I want.
all right guys welcome back it's the next day um i was going to end the video there but uh i think there's probably uh going to be a lot of questions if i end the video there so uh anyways uh i sent a picture uh to my buddy uh yesterday uh showing him which one i was going to give him which was the one with probably the nicer figure to it the one on the bottom there uh, I, I don't know I, I just I don't want to give him the one that has the pith in it because I'm really worried uh, that it having that pith in there it's going to split and it might go south uh, for him so I, I want him to have the better one uh, you know I I can work with uh, whatever I've, I've got you know so uh, I'm probably a little more advanced on woodworking than what he is I mean he's he's still in high school and I think it'd be a really good uh, project for him to uh, refinish that rifle and you know he asked me uh, what he owed me for it and, and I was like you know, I didn't expect nothing for it. I'm giving it to him really is what I was you know what I had set in my mind and I said you know what what you owe me is a picture of the the finished project when you're done with it that's all I need I, I want I want uh, I mean I could just give it to him and you know he could you know kind of toss that to the side and, and never finish it or I could say well you owe me a picture of it and maybe that will help drive him to you know to get it done all right guys so here's that uh, this was my great-great-grandfather's um, new Baker I think it's a 12 gauge side by side and it has the Damascus barrel on it it was uh, made by Syracuse Forging and Gun Company in Syracuse, New York. I don't know if you can read that. June 1st, 1880. Patented October 4th, 1887. I don't know if that means that's when this was made or if that's just for the patent. I'm about to lose all the screws here. I shouldn't have done that. I think I done lost one of them. So anyways, yeah. This is what I need to make a, a stock for. So yeah. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got the Damascus twist barrel. Let's see if I can show you that. You can kind of see the, the spiral twisting in that barrel. And you can see here where my grandma had a sock over it. It held moisture against that barrel and uh, caused it to rust out. And then you, you, we've got the where it was soldered together here is, is uh, kind of separated. That right there I think will look really nice with uh, this walnut that I, I milled out myself here and uh, I, I just I don't know that would be quite the project for me uh, everything on it works double trigger um, that's just it's really cool you know to me this is that's some history right there everything still works on it it's just been hanging on my wall for years and uh, I don't know I just I'd like to refinish it for hanging on the wall it's just a wall hanger it's not something I'd want to shoot but uh, you know it's got all original hardware here and I need to find that screw uh, before I go in so I'm probably gonna have to go get the magnet but uh, yeah follow me on Instagram and that way uh, whenever you when I finish this uh, I'll put uh, pictures of it out there for you guys. Yeah, let's uh, let's go put this up, and then we'll get to working on that. Yeah, look at that. You see that? That's pretty neat right there. 
you just see that right there that right there could make a nice gun stock this right here would you know you can curve this out get rid of the most of this uh, sap wood here yeah that would be that'd be beautiful but this right here I don't know we'll, we'll see what becomes of that but that could have to possibly be uh, stabilized with some CA glue or something I think it's gonna be pretty nice guys so uh, anyways hope you liked the video thanks for watching we'll see you next time don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there later